Hey, 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 man. Thanks for tuning in, man. Another one videos. Got an easy go. Uh, TXT series. No PDS, no 48 bolt. I'm going to show you a couple of things, what to check for, how to check some voltages. Um, <clears throat> first thing you want to do, put your voltmeter on DC 200. Um, in case you don't know, on the voltmeter, the V with the straight line means DC. V with the curvy line means alternating currents of AC. Um, and what you want to do, the black lead of your, of your voltmeter, I always set my own B negative, which is, I'm on, this is a limo, so everything's up front. But that should be negative there. And then, um, do that. What you want to do there, this is your B positive coming in from your main batteries here. Uh, you can see there we got B negative here. B plus coming from there. 49, you got you have battery voltage there. Alright. So then what you want to do is your red wire and your solenoid, when you hit the gas, you'll get battery voltage to it. And that lets you know that you're getting battery voltage from your micro switch, key switch, stuff like that. What you want to do is see here. Turn the key on, keys on. I'm, I'm gonna hit the gas and forward. And you should see the voltmeter show battery voltage. All right, we got battery voltage, so that lets you know that your solenoid is getting battery voltage from your forward and reverse switch, key switch, and the pedal micro switch also. Um, and another thing too, this is your, on your forward and reverse board, this wire here is to your reach switch. But we just bypass them to the main positive. And you can see there, you got battery voltage there. When you put it in forward or reverse, your blue wire actually feeds your key switch. So just testing the voltmeter there, you got 49 volts. It shows me your micro switch is good. And the read switch is good, but in this case we have a bypass. I'm gonna do it again. See the voltmeter 49? 49, all right. Then the green wire here, the green wire, this goes to your key switch and returns. So what you wanna do, unplug it. All tests done with a black lead on main negative. Give me one second, y'all. Now, I don't recommend you doing the, the using the main negative on the controller because if you happen to hit this post here with that, you'll burn the controller up or start a fire. But I do it because I have, I have years of experience. Uh, main thing is to be careful, man. All right, you can see the green wire. You got a blue. Off the micro switch, green comes from the key switch. All right, I'm gonna leave that there. I'm gonna turn my key off. See voltage go away. All right, it comes back. That lets you know the key switch is doing its job. <clears throat> then from there, it plugs into another green wire, which goes to the micro switch and the floorboard. But like I said before, you can test all that just by touching here on the solenoid and hitting the gas. All right. If you don't get no voltage there, check your micro switch, key switch, pedal switch in the floorboard. All right. Always make sure when you hit the gas, uh, the red wire here on the controller, you can see the voltmeter down there. Just make sure you have battery voltage when you hit the gas. Yes, this is a 48 volt controller, but it's the same. This used to be a 36 volt car. <clears throat> we converted to 48 to make it faster. Uh, only thing bad about that, they're bad for burning up the Ford reverse board unless you get the heavy duty one, which is still not as dependable. Uh, I don't recommend doing that because every year or so you're going to be having to put the F and R board on it. All right, so then you want to check, check your solenoid when you hit the gas. 
now you're always going to you're always going to show you got 49 there and remember now you should have 36 so if you see 40 you see 36 not 48 don't worry about it because it's actually your system is a 36 volt system um, you're going to see always battery voltage here because you're reading across the resistor so really it's not battery voltage with amp draw it's pretty much dead voltage you're just keeping the capacitors inside the controller charged up but when you hit the gas you're going to see 48 and 49 you're going to have the same thing on both sides on yours you're going to have 36 35 whatever and the same thing on this post all right um then what you want to do this is a way to tell the control is bad. When you hit the gas, if you put the red lead of your meter on your main positive or use your cylinder terminal that's straight from the battery. Um, B plus, B negative, A1, all right? You wanna put the red lead on the solenoid, the hot side on the battery. And then you wanna put it here. Then when you hit the gas, the farther you go with the gas pedal, the more voltage you should put out the controller. If you're getting nothing on this, on this here, probably got a bad controller. You can always take your battery wire and jump them two wires together, but make sure you jack it up on jack stands <clears throat> because once you jump it and hit the gas, you're sending battery voltage from here to here. So it's going to run wide open, all right? Because the purpose of it now is it fluctuates voltage from 27, 30, up to 36, 37 volts to get the car to speed. All right. Another thing too. Now this is your its. You have you have your orange, your red, orange, black, and white. Orange is just reverse, so you won't get battery voltage until you put it in reverse. Um, I have seen before where the micro switch in reverse is stuck in forward, so you run slow. You run like seven, eight miles an hour. But what you want to do though, on the black wire, red lead on the main, I mean black lead on the main negative. Fucking bullpen. What you want to see is black lead on the main negative. But of course, like I said, don't use this now. Use your battery for your main negative. Or do that, just be careful, don't arc nothing. When you hit the gas, I'm inside the black lead, the black wire here. I'm inside the black terminal, all right? So when you hit the gas, you're gonna get 14 volts. All right, that means that your controller is putting out voltage to your pedal switch in the floorboard. It's called a hits, inductive throttle sensor. And it's, it's like a little hole in it and it uses a magnetized plunger that goes through the hits and the farther it goes, it magnet creates a field and that's what sends the voltage back and speeds the card up. But this card, this here, when you hit the gas, now, now I'm in the white wire. When you hit the gas, it starts out at 0.5. The farther you go down, it goes up. The max you should see is 1.5 volts DC. I can't go far because I've got a golf cart in front of me. All right. Then I'm just showing you what the reading should be. And then on your forward and reverse board, black lead of the meter on the main negative. All tests are done with the ground on the battery or the controller negative, whichever you want to use. You can see I got battery bolters there. All right. Battery bolts here. Battery voltage here battery boards on, on, on the bottom post. So all four all four posts on the Ford reverse board should read battery voltage in Ford or reverse. Black lead on the main negative of the meter and check each post on the back of the F and R. You got four posts. All right, if you don't see voltage on one of them, then you got a bad Ford reverse board. Um, you could take it and take your battery wire and jump these two together or jump these two and get you running back home but if you don't have voltage then you know you got a bad f and r board all right man that might have been too fast for you uh but if you got any questions let me know 
Uh, this is this is one of the simplest cars to fix. Pretty pretty simple. All right, man. Stay tuned, man. I'll make some more videos.